What is a craniotomy or a craniectomy? Well, they're both life-saving brain surgeries used in the treatment of severe traumatic brain injury. If you had a nasty bang on the head, you could get some bruising or bleeding to the brain itself. Now, we're all used to what happens if you get a bruise on your hand or your leg. The tissues swell up. The same thing will happen with the brain. But, of course, your brain is inside this box, the skull. So there isn't anywhere for it to go to as it swells. And that means that the brain will be pushed against the sides of the skull, which could cause damage. And that increased pressure inside can restrict blood flow to other parts of the brain. And then they could be seriously damaged. So you may have a secondary injury of this kind to part of the brain which actually wasn't affected at all by that original accident. If scans show that there is this kind of bruising and swelling inside the brain, then the patient requires surgery. And both these procedures start in the same way. A number of small holes drill through the skull and then using a special saw these are cut together to remove part of the bone, sometimes quite a big piece. This means that the brain has some room to move into as it swells up. It also means that if there's blood and blood clots around the brain that are caused by an accident they can be removed. In a craniotomy the piece of bone will be put back in the same operation. That seems like the sensible obvious thing to do but sometimes you might not be able to perhaps the brain is swollen so much that you just can't fit that piece of bone back in or perhaps you're worried that over the next two or three days there'll be further uh, bruising and swelling and bleeding and you have to have another operation to treat the problem a second time so in a craniectomy the piece of bone isn't replaced straight away it's kept out it might be stored perhaps under the patient's skin in their abdomen and it'll be replaced at a later date when we're happy that things have calmed down in the brain. That means that there's a guarantee of a second surgery, of course, to put the piece of bone back. So which way is the best? Well, the truth is we don't really know. In some cases, it's quite clear cut which procedure can be done. But in a great many, it's really just up to the surgeon to decide which he feels is the most appropriate. There isn't a strong evidence base to show that either one is significantly better than the other. So a new research study underway at the moment is trying to find out. It's called Rescue and it's taking patients from all around the world and randomly splitting them into two groups. So one group would have the craniotomy where the piece of bone is replaced straight away. The other is the craniectomy where it's kept out. And they'll be followed up over months after their accident and surgery to see which group fares best. It's worth remembering that both of these surgeries are proven life-saving treatments. It's only this follow-up period after the surgery where there's some kind of doubt and we hope that the rescue project will clear this up. So that's a craniotomy and craniectomy. For more information on our live interactive science and engineering shows, check out our website and connect with us through Facebook and Twitter.